All right, so here we are in Las Vegas, Nevada, inside the T-Mobile Arena. This has really become the UFC's home base here in Vegas since 2016, and you competed on that inaugural night. UFC 200 was a big one. I got to stand across the octagon with one of the greatest fighters of all time, Anderson Silva, but the roof was blown off at UFC 200. So many stars and legends competed on that night. I'm glad I was able to stand amongst them tonight. You get to make your mark on this great night. by him there with the right hand. The right hand is the dominant hand, and you can see how well he throws it. They continue to exchange. Going to the leg kick now, and it's there. Nice job by Burns. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Oh, you can feel the reverberations here at the broadcast booth as he slams him down there with conviction. You should see that. The moment those two big boys hit the bat, John's papers went flying. It was amazing. Where's that working man camera? Yeah, we need that working man. Right <laughs> this table is a mess. <laughs> All right, dominant position for him here. Full mount. If you're the bottom fighter, better start moving those hips, DC. Oh, you got to start moving those hips. What you should do initially, right, is start to push at the knees. Push at the hips, create some distance, shrimp, and try to recollect half guard. Half guard sucks, but it's much better than being mounted fully by your opponent. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position up the bottom. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Oh, he continues to attack that bloody cheek. His face is a mess. Work from the bottom, tags him with the punch. Big elbow there, Lance. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. All right, he's sort of hanging out here unguarded, DC. Not sure if he's trying to bait him in or what, but not great body language here. Under a minute to go. Five seconds remain in the round. Ground and pound strike there now. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. He lands to the body. strikes together tonight. I mean, he's feeling tough tonight, John. He's doing a great job of putting everything together. Yeah. 
Just out of range with that right hook. All right, so a big knockdown for him, courtesy of that punch in that round. DC, here's a replay. Big moment in the previous round. They were both fighting very well, but when he landed this punch right here that sits his opponent down, it showed that the power is not equal, and if he can land, he does have the ability to damage it. Side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. All right, bottom fighter here. Maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Well, you see all the grappling repetitions here. Just beautiful movement, seamless transitions on the floor. Over and over, these guys are doing things that you see in every jiu-jitsu gym around the country. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop you got to defend, but you can see him now starting to gain posture and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Lands a big elbow there. Come on, let's go, do something. Oh, and that one snapped the head back. The referee has seen enough. He mercifully stopped the fight. A great stoppage and a great performance by this young man. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 35 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, Gilbert Durinho! 